you were talking about your issues specifically, and you said that doing this massage helps you, yeah. it affected all this process. Does this mean you do the massage on a regular basis? Yes. Okay, so, so it's not just a one-off. No, no. Thing. It's 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 like any massage, and it's any like anything like exercising. You need to maintain. Okay. So the idea with alternative health is preventative medicine. It's not when you get sick you go to a practitioner. The idea is that you want to go to a practitioner constantly to make sure that you don't get sick. Mm -hmm. So with Chinatsan, we have a lot of people who come to us with problems and we work on the issue. We, and then once they're, once they're cured or the problem is resolved, they usually come to us twice a month to once a month. Okay. That's usually what I recommend. Two to once a month, they come and they do the massage just as a maintenance. And when they come for a specific problem, yes. let's say fertility, because mm -hmm. we're talking about that, and you do the massage, this yes. does not only, like you said, help with fertility, it actually affects the whole the digestive whole system, system and the whole intestinal yes, system. Yes, exactly. Okay. So uh, what I'll do is I usually uh, work with, with somebody who's, who has fertility issues, I'll work on the whole abdomen, um, and I usually recommend that they come to me after their menses, between the menses and the ovulation period. And it's recommended to do the, the massage three days before ovulation. So mm -hmm. I'll do it three days in a row, and I'll focus mainly on the lower area. So it's an external abdominal it's massage. It's an external massage. We usually use glove. I use gloves in my in my method, uh, and I have specific oils that I use. Uh -huh.